Okay, so good morning guys. Um, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been quiet for almost a year now because of 2020 and then I'm busy sailing and then I don't have um, the time to film these videos. I would like them, but I just don't, I just don't have the time. So right now, things have changed a little bit. Back in my last video, I think it was a cricket video, I was back in Shenzhen studying there. Right now, I'm in England studying at a school in Cambridge called Abbey College Cambridge. And um, basically now, but, but, but right now it's sort of summer holidays and now I'm in Cornwall. Uh, on holiday, basically doing some sailing and stuff. So basically, today we are going on a first aid course down at a sailing club called Camel Sailing and Powerboat Center. Should be a fun day. Right now it's about seven o'clock in the morning because I've got a taxi to catch to get to the to get to the club at eight o'clock. So right now, right now I'm gonna go and get go down and have some breakfast. Excuse me for my hair because I've just woken up. I can see, I can show you the view outside. It's just, literally just gone seven o'clock. You can see, it's quite bright out there. Unfortunately, there's no sun and then temperatures below 20 degrees, but uh, I think we will manage about that. Um, I will see you guys when I arrive at the powerboat club. See you there. We've done nothing, we've wiped it clean, and we've carried on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's first aid. So you've all done first aid. Ah. In some form or another. Yeah, true. Okay? Yeah. So, all I'm going to do is build on that, and, and hopefully make you better first aiders. Because, as I said right at the beginning, you can make a difference. There are lots of children, little babies who can walk sort of thing, who saved mom and dad's life because they knew what to do, because they were trained from literally that age. I will show you later on how you, you, and I'm only sort of choosing you two because you're the smaller of the two, will be able to turn somebody over and put them into the recovery position really easily. Okay, and that can absolutely save a life. Yeah. Okay? So, we're going to start from the beginning, and um, there's always a good place to start. And as again, stop me at any time if you're unsure of, of any. Sure where they are. So you've changed that level, they're already one level down the slippery slope. The first alert, alert that's good. Oh, I bumped my arm, that really hurts. That's alert. Huh? What? Oh, what have I done to my arm? That's voice. That's the next bit down. Yeah? So what do you think P stands for? Without reading it. Without reading it. Oh, what do they mean by pain then? Am I going to go? Oi, you all right? No. <laughs> no, why not? That's pain. <laughs> you're not pain. Can't we do that? You, you are. You, you, what, you're what increasing the pain. What response might you get if they're alert? <laughs> They'll be like, like, like screaming for like, like pain. They give you a punch in the face. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, so maybe it's not that pain. Yeah. Sorry, mate. I didn't really mean it. So if I go, hi, I'm a first aider. Can I help you? Not alert. He's not ask. He's not answering to voice. So what we do is, hands, side of casualty, not in front of casualty. Do not lean over the casualty like that. Because if you go, hi, and let's say they wake up quickly, what are they going to do? Hit you. Kick you. Kick you, hit you. Ooh, who are you? <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> <laughs> Am I looking after myself? <laughs> the dangers are <laughs> no. me leaning over like this. It's really going to hurt. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to go on the floor. Yeah. Not being able to do anything. So we don't want to do that. Yeah. We want to be at the side so they can't do anything. Yeah. So we'll be Shit. here, just hands on the shoulders. Yeah. Hi. Hi, I'm a first aider. Can you hear me? Just tapping on the shoulders sort of thing or shaking the shoulders. If there's no response, we're at the next level. But if they could well respond, because they could be asleep. So you're, you're walking down the beach and somebody's lying there, thinking, oh, what you got my first aid? Oh, I can help you. Oh, who are you? And they're asleep. <laughs> so, somebody's asleep, waking up quickly. You know, we know what the result might be, so we don't do that, do we? So we want to be at the side, yeah? So that is the pain. Wait, how do we know they're dead or are they? Coming on to that. Is this what this is for? 
You... I'm, a, I'm a good teacher, wait and see. <laughs> so what you shouldn't do is this, step over your casualty either. Um, so that's the pain. If you're not getting the pain, go on, tell me. Without looking at the book. Ah, what was the last, what's the U stand for? Unresponsive. Ah, oh, see, it's already ready. Unresponsive. So if I've done all of these things, and I'm still getting nothing, the casualty, the person here, is unresponsive. So straight away, we've come in, we've done two big things. We've checked for dangers. Right, we can approach the casualty, we can approach the person who's not very well. We get down to them, we go through that checklist, and we've got to the, ooh. Unrespawn, my rub, writing is, unrespawn, Sid, ish. We've got to the unresponsive bit. We know there's something seriously wrong now, but we don't know what's wrong. So, yes. what isn't in your book is the next bit, okay? Because of my background, I come from, um, I'm ex-military, we had to do some serious first aid and stuff. And if we don't do this bit, the next bit that's not in there, the rest of that might as well just be forgotten about. And I'm not saying that that's not good, it's just I've learnt stuff, we've learnt stuff in how we do things. It makes a huge difference. Is it to check if, it's, if he's alive? Nope, that's, well, that's the next bit. We, he might be alive, but he could, he, she could really die if we don't do this next bit. Okay? Check heartbeat. Coming on to that, bear with me. So the next thing is, because it's not in there, I'm just yeah. going to write it down. Okay. And I'm going to write it down under here. Yeah. Okay? Life-threatening bleed, what do I mean by that? You're really good at answering questions. You can't hurt anybody by doing that. You happy? Yeah. Don't. You can't make up in the pump. Can you do CPR so on yourself? This is the no, because head tilt conscious. chin lift. And this is one of the ways of opening it up, opening up the airway. You sort of practice, and there's also another one where you, where, you, where, you sus, where you suspect a you, spinal, CPR, spinal so injury. What you do, you hold the person up like this, heartbeat. put your hands, put your fingers around here, put your thumb around here, and then you push press, down. push down, push down with your thumbs. And then push up with your fingers, and you, so, you, so you have to basically open up the airway by kind of mm. op opening their mouth. So yeah, yeah. Yes. that's it. But the downside of this is that you have to you have to hold this position until further jobs is done. So basically, you're you're out. But um, this this is the other way of opening up the airway. So thank you. Is that good? Okay, so uh, just had a great session with Carl over there. He's very, very experienced. He is a great first aider, and then he teaches a lot, a lot of valuable things. We're gonna, we are now having a break right now, and then, uh, yeah, we're going in in about five minutes to carry on with our first aid course, and then uh, I will see you guys back in there. Well, conclusions for, for, for the morning. It's great, some great stuff, great, great events going on. I mean, like, this place is sick, it's very, very cool. Let me just show you guys what's around here. So basically, now you can see it's low tide now. We are in a lot of, in the, in the sandbanks coming out, but, um, but uh, the thing is, it's actually, it's a, it's a good morning right now. We're about to go in for finishing off the thing, and then I'll see you guys when, when we're done. Any dangers? No dangers. Response, hello, hello, first day here. Can you hear me? No response. Mm. Any life-threatening bleeds? Can't see anything. Okay, next thing, airway. I don't think he's fallen down. I'm going to go head tilt, chin lift. So head tilt, chin lift. Now we're going to go for the breathing. Hand on there. Normally, we would go like that. But now I'm going to wait and count. How many times am I counting? Ten. And how much am I expecting in ten seconds? Five. Four to six. Four to six. Four to six. Five, Five is absolutely right. Well done, both. I'm getting nothing. Ooh, that's not good. Circulation, how many? Seconds? Two. Five, and five, five seconds hold, two seconds, two seconds up, nothing. Straight away, you can forget the rest. He's not breathing, there's no circulation, this is CPR. Okay, if it is an adult, adult is not by age, by size. If they look like an adult, they're an adult. If they look like a child, 
they're a child, and that's up to 14, 15. If they're a baby, look like that. They look like that. Sorry. Sorry. They're a baby. By which age is that adult? Doesn't. Doesn't, doesn't matter. The age, what if they look like an adult. What if they're just mid-teen? That's fine. That's fine. Well, that's what you'll choose what you think. It's not a lot of difference. The difference with a child, it is, yes. So if somebody is um, a child, it's one hand. If it's an adult, it's two hands. It's only because you'll break, you know, for Breaking damaging the chest. Yeah. So if you think they're an adult, go for it, because there are some people who are your height and they're 14. There are some people sort of your height and they're 53 type of thing. That's just how it is. Yeah, something my height and I'm 61, so I'm not far different in size to you. Makes sense? Okay, so we've opened the airway. That's all we can do at the moment. We've got to go for the, the next bit, which is chest compressions. This has not really changed for many, many years, okay? And you choose whether you do them, you choose whether you're not doing them, but this could save somebody's life and make a difference. You can, you're, all you're doing is maintaining what the body normally does by doing it externally. So by you doing this, you're massaging the heart, you're squirting blood around to the vital organs. You breathing into them is putting oxygen into the lungs and then doing that, which is now getting blood back to the heart, which is oxygenated blood, which we need, and then moving it around. By you doing that, it's also then breathing out the CO2, CO2, yeah, carbon dioxide, yeah, um, and, and the other, other stuff. Only 15, 14, 15 percent of air that goes into our body is used. The rest of it comes out. So that's why us breathing into somebody, I'll just breathe, I breathe out 70 odd percent of oxygen, so that's going to help them. So you don't just breathe out. Uh, pure CO2, it's, you know, otherwise, you, what's the point? So, we are actually giving them some help. Okay, we can't do the breathing bit at the moment. Um, so, what just people will do is chest and breast, as I said. Because of COVID, what they're recommending at this moment in time is you I can't do this with this dummy, but you turn the head away from you, or you get a cloth and you put it over. Because you doing that is squirting air up to your face. Okay? You don't want that with COVID. You want that as far away as possible. So either turn the head away or put a cloth over or both and keep it. That's the best protection you've got. Um, if you've got a face mask, great, you know, whatever. If you've got gloves, even better, and so on. Four. So, if we have an adult that has not been near the water, then we do 30 compressions and then we would have done two breathings. But at the moment we're just 30 compressions. Okay? If, they're, if you think they've been near the water, i.e. they've been drowning and you've dragged them out, we give them, we used to give them five rescue breaths first, then 30 compressions, then two breaths, 32. Okay? If it is a, uh, a baby, it's always five five um, rescue breaths, and then 32, 32, 32. If it's a child, 32, 32, 32. Think they've been in the water, five, 32, 32. Okay. Make sense? Yeah. Okay, so how do we do this? They say we've got to find the center of the chest, because your heart's about. Center. It's just about there, your heart is. It's not there, it's just about there. If you're Doctor Who, you've got two. But I'm not Doctor Who. So you've just got one, it's about here. Okay, so somewhere about here is good. Some people say, oh, you, you, you do um, from the bottom of the bone here, it's two fingers up and you put it there, there's, there's all sorts of methods. The easiest way, the bottom of your arms, here your armpits, just come straight across, it's there. Hand on the top, hand on the top, hand on the top, hand on the top, your choice, don't mind. Don't bend your arms and do that, it'll hurt your back. Two minutes of doing this, you'll be exhausted. I promise you, I've done it enough times. So lean back, arms straight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Then you would do your two breaths. Then you would go again. Yeah. Continuously, non-stop. At this moment in time, now because there's no breaths at the moment. They're, they're reckoning 
that you doing this is enough to get the, the lungs moving as well. How long can they stay alive for? Until you get somebody to you. Yeah. We don't we don't know they're alive. So you 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 both have asked me the question a couple of times. How long do you keep going for? You keep going until you cannot physically go any further. You are so tired you can't carry on. You carry on and get somebody else to take over from you, and then they, you take over from them. You carry on until somebody qualified tells you to stop. That is a paramedic. Or, or if the person wakes up. Or if uh, I was. Thank you. Or if it's a doctor of medicine, or the person recovers. If it's a doctor, oh, I'm a doctor. Doctor of what? You can have a doctor of surfing these days. So you can keep them, them there forever. But until you, yeah. So you carry on until you can't do it anymore yourself. You're so tired out, you can't do it. So you have deep your constant switching. You could switch and carry on like that. Like yeah. Ten years and later you can say. <laughs> Potentially. No, 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 no. <laughs> You can have, uh, you've got until the person recovers or until somebody more qualified, a paramedic, a doctor of medicine, says stop. They will call it, they'll call time. That's how we do it, okay? So once you've started, in theory, you're not supposed to stop. So I'll just give him a, I'll go for help. That's not going to do any good. <laughs> because as soon as you've stopped, the heart stopped again. It's not squirting anything around. I'll just give him a couple more. I'll be all right. Quick! Oh no, I'm better one more. How far are you going to get? It's, you don't. You just once you started, you start. Okay. Um, can we assume somebody's dead? Should we not even start? No. There are a couple of occasions when we don't do CPR. What might they be? How do we know somebody's really dead? When they like skin is ice no. cold. No. no. You might get like hypothermic skin cold. Yeah. Then. So how do we know somebody's really dead? We, as poor little first aiders, how do we know they're actually dead? Well, if they got such a traumatic injury that they couldn't possibly be alive. Like what? See well, like head's come off. Head's come off. That's correct. If there's no head, you can't stick it back on and then hold it there and do this and hope for the best. No. You can't stick any tape around it and then carry on, that sort of thing. So, traumatic injury like a head off is they're dead. A traumatic injury like their intestines are hanging out, they have no lower part of their body, that's not dead. They may still be alive. Wait, what? Yeah, because this part of your body is <clears throat> yeah. biologically not important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but Stop listening. Okay. I'm, I'm here. I'm You're the casualty, so if you just lie yourself back on the floor I'm, as you did. I'm, I'm lying on the floor. <laughs> oh. Okie okay, so you guys are going to be the person that puts this person into the recovery position, okay? And why are we going to, why are we put them in the recovery position? Because it means you can keep their airway open um, without you having to hold the airway open. It also means that you can check them very easily and you can leave them. Especially, you get this especially if you've got a mu several casualties. So you can get one that you can do that with, you can go and work on somebody else who's not as, not as well. Okay? So, um, if you guys want to come down here and kneel, just this side. No, you don't need to. That's right. Just you two. Okay, well, one here. I want that. Just kneel yourself down. Okay, so we need what we're going to do is we need to turn our casualty over so we can make him safe. Because at the moment, his head covered like that, he can't be breathing properly. So we've got to, head, we've got to open the airway up and things like that. So we want to make it easy. So we want to turn them. If you try to turn them this way, we've got things in the way, haven't we? So we want to look at which way we're going to turn them. In this case, it's going to be easier to come your way. Yeah? So you know you'll need to be that side. Yeah, 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 we'll be on that side. You wait and see. Okay, so what we want to do now is, if we try to turn him over, his, this arm here, and this watch is in the way, isn't it? It's harder to turn over because you've got to roll him over that. So we want to get rid of that arm. It doesn't mean chopping it off. We've got to get rid of it. So we're going to take that arm and we're going to stick it up in the air over there. Right. Careful with the watch. So just put it out of the way like that. That's it, so that's out of the way. We're going to get this no. arm. <laughs> You're going to get this hand here now and you're going to put it right by his cheek, like that. And then, I want you to hold, put your finger on there, just your finger, that's all I want. Okay, now, if we try and um, 
lift that leg up, this one up, and roll him over. It's going to drag this one behind, isn't it? So that's the one we need. So you want to make that one look like that. Just underneath and just lift him up. Because when somebody's unconscious, they're just really floppy. So just bring it up like that, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, like that, right. Now with your finger, put your finger on there. We're just using your fingers now. Just kneel, go back into that way a little bit. Right, all I want you to do now is roll him your way. Pull, 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 keep pulling. See how easy that was? You just did that with your finger. <laughs> how cool is that? So now, now that leg goes a bit more that way. So we take him like that, yeah? This arm here now, you make him a little bit more comfortable. Take his head, uh, now keep, keep that there because that stops the um, that stops the head doing that. All you do with the head now is head tilt chin lift. So that one there, I'm pushing back, that's it. Now, you can leave him. You can check, one, two, three, four, five. You can check tummy for breathing. We airway is open. So we've got airway, we've got breathing, and we've got circulation, and I sat there like that. If there is a problem, and you go, oh, we need to do CPR, all you've got to do is grab his leg, grab his arm, push him the other way. Grab his leg, push him the other way. Bang, and you're ready, and that arm goes out the way, and straight away you're ready for your CPR. <laughs> <laughs> Does that sort of make sense? Yeah. Do you want to have a go at that? Yeah. He does? No. Okay. Would you like to have a go at that? No. <laughs> Would you like to have a go at that? I'm fine. You're fine. Yeah. You happy with that? Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, so what we're, if we're going to roll the person that way, just to recap, we get rid of this arm out the way. If it's that way, then then you get this rid of this arm, arm, that arm there, and, and then boom. That's it. Perfect. Thank you. Very good casual to this. Excellent. Divi. Well done, well done, well done, well done. Right, okay. Have got some for CPR. What does CPR stand for? Chest. 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 No, 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 no. Chest. Uh, cardio pulmonary resuscitation. What? what the heck is that? You write it. Cardio pulmonary resuscitation. Forget it. That's technical stuff. It's CPR. Yeah? Uh, cardio cardio pulmonary resusc resuscitation. Oh, resuscitation. <laughs> so let's not worry about it. Okay. This is an old one. This is how not to do CPR. Is that Mr. Bean? It's Mr. Bean. Is he doing CPR or somebody else? Just, I'll leave you to watch it. Yeah. I've, I've seen this so many times. Jack, don't take it. Okay, you said you want me to lower it down here? Yeah. Is that better? So this is the stuff that we must all go through as a first aider. No, no. Uh, just yes, your first or second name, please. Yeah. And we go over. This is the first aid kit that Carl has. Very, very well equipped. And uh, might as well think of getting one day, to be honest. That's just the voucher. Okay, so right now we've just finished the first aid course. Carl is in there signing our certificates. That certificate is valid for, I think, three years. So this means that we will be qualified, certified to do first aid on people for the next three years. So that's what an achievement. That's, a, that's, a, that's actually pretty, pretty good. Right now we're about to head back. But before that, I will show you guys what the certificate looks like. And to be honest, it's freezing cold out here, the tide's gone up, and then you can see that in the, in the background. And then uh, I will see you guys when the certificate arrives. Okay, so right now we're on our way back. We, just, we have just got our certificates. It's right here. You can see there's my name on there, we got all these people around here. And uh, this means we are certified first aiders for the next three years. You guys need help? Find us. You remember that? Cheers. Now, 
we, we have a long way back home. We got to walk for another mile. We got to take the bus and we got to walk for another mile. So I will see you guys probably go back home, uh, back home. Okay, so right now we have just came back from the Powerboat House. It's, it was quite a battering day today. I just found out that, I've, that after I've left the, the, the house, that our taxi was cancelled by the company. So then we have to walk to the bus station, take the bus and then walk some more. So basically we did about literally about 10 kilometers of walking today. So not ideal, but uh, hopefully next time we can get a car here, which would we'd be, be, a, be a lot more helpful if we did. So right now it's just gone seven o'clock. I've just had dinner, and then I'm gonna wrap this video up here. There's gonna be a next. There's, there's also there's gonna be some other videos coming out this week. Two of them, which is which is gonna be about the powerboat course that I'm gonna also take. Another one maybe about the other kids down here doing a sailing course, and I'm and I'm gonna be there accompanying them, basically something do doing some filming and stuff. So uh, guys, I'm gonna. Basically, during this summer, I'm going to restart my YouTube channel, so there's a lot of videos going to be coming. It's going to be on my Instagram and stuff. I will basically be posting, saying there's a new video dropping and stuff. And then, you don't have to like this video or not, but if you wanted to, or do you think it's good, if you think it's cool, then like it. You, don't, you, also, don't, you also don't have to subscribe, but uh, if you do want to, then you can. And then, uh, thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys soon.